Hey guys, today I'm doing my monthly Primark haul. Um, this video happens every month now, so make sure to subscribe so you can see my monthly Primark hauls. And let's get started. The first thing I got was this top slash jumper thing that I'm wearing. Um, I also got a similar one in, I think it might have been my April haul actually. Um, it was a striped one, so this is exactly the same except it's black. And it has a zip, if I just move my hair, um, which does get quite cold. And the sleeves are just, you know, long sleeve. And it's really, really comfy. This was £10. And although it's on the pricier side for Primark, because usually their tops are 8 6 whatever, um, this is really comfy. And it kind of doubles up as a jumper as well sometimes, so... The next thing I got was some underwear for £5. These are uh, seam-free shorts, which I'll just take off and show you guys a pair. Um, I haven't, I've worn these kind of ones, but I haven't worn um, ones from Primark that are seam-free, and I love seam-free. Oh, there's a fly. I love seam-free um, underwear. <laughs> it's so, so comfy. And these are such a lovely material, so yeah, it comes with three um, pairs. They're not called pairs because they're three, um, but three bits of underwear. Then I got this Simpsons um, night shirt, t shirt thing. And this was five pounds, and it says. Let me just read it first. Can't talk eating. And it has Homer on it. And he's eating a donut as he usually does. And then I also got another Simpsons t-shirt. But also for sleeping. For £5. I guess you could get away with it. With them um, wearing it outside. And this one says uh, The Simpsons. And it has each of the Simpsons family on. Nice and big and baggy. Just the way I like it. I also got matching trousers, pyjama trousers, which were £7, so they were more expensive than the tops. And this is what they look like. They're kind of, I would say, like a linen feel, so not my usual, um, not my usual kind of trousers that I like for sleeping. Let me see what it says. That it Oh, cotton, but they feel quite rough. And anyway, they just have the Simpsons characters, the family on there, and also Santa's little helper. Um, so yeah, and you can tighten them. Just had to go and close my door. I don't know how my dog managed to get in here. Not that I didn't want her in here, but I thought the door was closed. I got this top, which I absolutely love, but because I'm a larger, lady and um, I've never really had the comp well I never really thought that these would look nice on me um and I haven't tried it on so I don't know this was eight pounds um, and it's a white kind of structured structured top but I think these are so nice they look so good hopefully you guys can see just trying to lift it up and it's short sleeved but again because I, I don't like showing my arms so I don't know if if I can maybe wear this with a blazer because I think with a cardigan it might look a bit silly but maybe with a blazer it might look okay because I wouldn't want to show my arms. I'm really starting to like white stuff now like I just want to buy everything white. I almost bought some white skinny jeans which you, if you had said that to me a few years ago I would have been like mm, I don't think so. Not that there's anything wrong with them. I think they look so nice, but I think with my figure it would just be like, yeah, but I might just go for it. You should do one thing that you wouldn't usually do a, a day to build up your confidence and to not be so scared. And I'm a very scared person. I'm scared of everything, so I don't know. Maybe I should. One, one thing down, a billion more to go. But these, which, oh, I can't remember all the price. 
Oh my gosh, that's so good. I didn't even realize. So these are workout trousers. They're really comfy. They're like, um, you know, tip they're made out of typical workout stuff. That's how they feel. But look, they I didn't even realize this when I bought them. They have a pocket on the back where you can put stuff in. It's not that big a pocket, but I mean, I don't know, maybe if you wanted some change for something. But I can't use these because I don't know why, but I got them in a small sizer. A small sizer? A smaller size. So they do fit, but they're a bit tight. So I can't really use them, but yeah, they're long. And then they just have this detailing on the bottom. But that's so, I really like that it has a pocket. You can, or even your phone or something, you can fit in there. Maybe not the iPhone 6 or any of the phablets that are out there. I got this sports, I guess it's meant to be a sports top, and this was £3.50, but I think I would use it as a sports bra, maybe like a double bra kind of thing, um, just because I don't have the confidence to show off my stomach. So, yeah. Um, it's really nice, stretchy, and it seems like it would be comfortable. I haven't used it yet. But, and apparently it's quick dry fabric, which is really good. I guess if you work out every day, you can just wash it and then it will be dry for the next day. And then I got this top for six pounds. Really? Okay, I thought it would have been cheaper. If I can even get it to, oh no, it's one of those tops. The ones that are wrapped in such a weird way that you'll never be able to wear them. Oh my gosh, no, these just frustrate me. So it's a Snoopy top. And then it has this back, which is fun. I was really confused for a minute, so it kind of bugs me, but this was six pounds. And I like those kinds of tops that are of characters but they're not typical t-shirts that they're shaped differently I wish they had more tops like that because it's annoying to just have t-shirts like I wish they had short sleeved tops more and you know like lower neck low neck tops not just t-shirt ones what am I even saying then I got this top for five pounds <clears throat> which says Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. And then it has the silhouettes of Simba, Timon and Pumbaa. Don't you just love The Lion King? How can you not love it? It was one of the first Disney films I watched and I think I was about three and my mum put it on for me and uh, she came back, like she left me in the room and she came back after a while and I was crying and she thought something had happened to me and I was upset because um, Simba's dad had just died and I was like that naughty scar. <laughs> it still makes me cry though. I bet you if I watched it I would cry. No, one film I can't watch is Fox and the Hound. Just even thinking about it just makes me... It's just too sad. Just because when I watch it I think that there is actual hunting in the world so it's quite sad. Then I got this duffel bag for £8. How good is that? That's such a good price. And it has straps that you can undo, so it will be pretty long. So that's quite good. You can make it longer or shorter. And it has quite a good amount of space in there. And it has this zip detailing on the front. I wonder if you can actually put something in there. No, <laughs> unless my one's a bit faulty. Really like it. Eight pounds is so good. So that was the end of my Primark haul. I know that, well there was a fair bit amount of stuff but it wasn't that much I guess. Um, sorry if I've been a bit quiet. I have family at home usually when I film videos I don't but I wanted to get this up as soon as possible 
and yeah so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoy my primark haul remember to subscribe so you can watch my primark haul my monthly primark hauls if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye